Hi, it's Judy and welcome to a new video. So today I have quite an exciting video just because it's not one I've done before in terms of what it's actually about. So I have done this before but I haven't. So basically today I'm going to do a little bit of a book haul and also a sort of TBR in one video. So yeah, basically this is going to be all of the non-fiction books that I have recently purchased and all of the non-fiction books that I'm hoping to read sometime in the near future. So yes, non-fiction isn't something I typically read. I haven't really delved into the genre very often. I have a few things I do like to read from non-fiction such as books about witchcraft, mythology, occultism, Egyptology, all that kind of stuff I'm really really interested in so I have occasionally dipped in and out of those kinds of books but I've never properly really looked into the genre of non-fiction and obviously within non-fiction there are so many different little mini genres so you have like your smart thinking, self-help, your pop science, history, just so many like different genres within non-fiction and yeah I just really want to delve into some of those so I bought some new books the other day and I also have a few non-fiction books on my shelf already that I would like to read that I'm going to talk about in this video but before we do get into the video I thought now would be a good time to tell you guys about this app that I have been using recently and is very very handy for non-fiction who are also the sponsor for this video so the app that I'm talking about is an app called Blinkist now some of you guys might have heard of this app before it's quite a popular app and Blinkist is essentially an app that covers a wide range of topics from like psychology to self-help so a lot of non-fiction and they basically just take like the top non-fiction books and they pull out like the key elements of those books and they condense the whole book down into like 15 minutes so this can be in like a text format or in an audio format and these are known as blinks and they have something called shortcasts which is like mini podcasts and all these different things so quite often when you read a book specifically a non-fiction book where there's a lot of information you sometimes like just don't remember it all or you're just overwhelmed by how much info is in the one book so this app is really really useful for just kind of getting a general summary for getting a general feel for the book and just the really key important things within that book so if you're like me I forget stuff a lot like I forget what I read all the time and sometimes I do struggle to take in all the information so because I'm new to non-fiction as well I'm just finding this app very very useful to kind of condense information down so for example one of the books I bought that I'm going to talk about and I'm also currently reading is Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker so I've been using the Blinkist app and I've been listening to it via audio like the condensed version down in like segments because the there's a lot of information in here and it's very very overwhelming so I do find listening to this back on the app helps to like sink in the information and yeah it's just really really fun it's really really like time saving because obviously instead of having to like reread a book or like read the entire thing if you're maybe studying for like an exam or something or whatever you can just listen to a condensed summary that's 15 minutes long or read a condensed summary and yeah it's just very very convenient you can have all the books in one place on the app and I think as well this app will also encourage you to pick up new books that you probably wouldn't have previously which is something that I personally have really really liked about it basically like test out a book and get a feel for a book by using Blinkist before actually purchasing it physically and reading or listening to the whole entire book and yeah like something like this book I wouldn't necessarily have thought to have really read before and because I've been listening to bits of it on Blinkist I did decide to go and get it and because my friend Lily had also recommended it to me so yeah I just really personally have enjoyed using this app as you guys can see here I have like these two books in my library at the moment so I have Why We Sleep and The China Study and again I usually wouldn't really go for these but it's just so much more accessible and so much more easy to like understand everything with Blinkist so I'm just yeah I'm so happy that I'm now gonna be able to read a bit more at my comfort zone and just read some books that I've always wanted to read but I've been a bit scared to read if that makes sense so yes if you're interested in Blinkist I do actually have a link in my description box with a special offer on where you guys can get seven days free of Blinkist you can also get 25% off the premium membership as well so make sure you head to the description box down below if you would like to do that so yes 
Highly recommend Blinkers, but now I'm going to actually chat about some of the books. So we'll start with the haul first, because I know you guys love hauls. Um, so yeah, obviously I did get Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. So my friend Lily from Lily C Reads recommended this to me a while ago because I struggle with sleep. I used to struggle really, really bad with insomnia when I was a teenager. And also, like recently, I have been as well. And I don't really know much about sleep or sleeping habits. And yeah, she recommended this to me. She said it's really, really amazing. It taught her a lot. It's very informative. And I did start it. So at the moment, I'm on page 36. And yeah, after listening to some of it on the Blinkist app, I just felt like this book would be something that would be really interesting for me. So we did go out and buy it and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's definitely very, very informative. And I have already learned a lot just in the 30 odd pages that I've already read just really really interested in this i think this comes under smart thinking i think is the genre this is under i might be wrong it could be popular science but yeah i'm just really, really enjoying it like i said not something i'd usually go for but i definitely do want to start reading more of these styles of books and to be a bit more conscious about these types of things if that makes any sense then this next one i picked up because i've actually wanted this for a long time and i've always been very very interested in space and the universe and all of those things and there's a video on youtube by this scientist he's a physicist and i used to watch it all the time when i was a teenager whenever i was going through it and feeling crap and i will link the video down below but it's basically a video that's kind of remind you how amazing and incredible it is to be alive and yeah that's besides the point i decided to buy one of his books anyways i just think this will be like a really interesting fun little read um so that is neil degrassi tyson's astrophysics for people in a hurry i am by no means a scientist or physicist or good at physics it was probably one of the subjects i struggled with the most although i was most interested in it yeah i just think this will just be a really fun and interesting read and yeah it's like a concise version of physics of astrophysics and obviously some parts might be a little bit complex and hard for me to understand but i still really wanted this because i have heard really good things about it and i just want to get out of my comfort zone a bit so yeah i bought this one and i'm hoping it's gonna be enjoyable <laughs> then this next one i actually purchased really really randomly i hadn't actually seen it before and i just saw it on the shelf and i was like ooh yes please and yeah i got it so this is making the monster the science behind mary shelley's frankenstein by katherine harcup so yeah this one here not something i'd ever go for but i saw frankenstein i was like do you know what that would be a really really interesting I don't know about you guys but I love it when someone kind of breaks down how something fictitious would work in real life so like for example there's like a video documentary thing on YouTube about like Superman and how if Superman were to exist in real life how his powers actually work within our laws of science and like I don't know if I'm just like strange for being into that but i just find things like that really really interesting and yeah i'm really interested to see how like in our actual real life world how frankenstein would work and what the science would be behind something like frankenstein i don't know i just feel like it'll be really fun and yeah i just love this cover as well and i'm excited like there's some really really cool like images in here and like diagrams let me try and find this one like there's some really really cool stuff in here and i just think this is just gonna be so interesting and i cannot wait to get to this at some point this year so yeah if you like frankenstein or you're interested in those kinds of things maybe check out this book okay so this next one is super super random but i know a few people have probably heard of it or read it especially if you are vegan or plant-based this is one of the most popular books i'm currently neither although i do always try to eat as plant-based as possible and i don't typically really eat meat i'm more pescatarian but i started this book a few years ago and i never finished it and it was just because of the size of it but again it's on blinkist and i want to listen to the summary on there and then give it an actual read and like really learn about these things because i do think it is very important for your health to know these things and yeah i just always wanted to read this um so that is the china study by t colin campbell and thomas m campbell um and this is basically all about nutrition it's about health it's about how a plant-based diet can 
give you all of the health benefits and improve your life and prevent things like cancers and other diseases and yeah it's just as it says on the front the most comprehensive study of nutrition ever conducted i'm pretty sure there is a documentary on this as well so if you're interested in nutrition or changing your diet or just being aware of how certain foods impact our bodies then this might be a book for you to pick up but yeah i'm very interested in this kind of stuff and i just want to give it a read and learn some new things so i'm really excited to get to this one but i'm definitely going to be listening to the summary on blinkist first because this is quite a big book and it's a lot of information so yeah i feel like that will definitely help me to get my head around things to begin with <laughs> then next i really picked this up so randomly i'm really into stuff to do with like i said previously the universe and how it's created but i'm also someone who's very interested in like religion and occultism and beliefs and all that kind of stuff i just find it very very fascinating and this book is pretty much a blend of both religion and science and basically talking about how like the origin of the universe with our scientific knowledge and religion can kind of mesh together um so this is called genesis the story of how everything began by gudo tonelli and yeah like it says on the back here tonelli takes the reader on the most thrilling roller coaster ride starting with the void and ending 13.8 billion years later with the complex multiverse we currently inhabit Neatly divided into seven chapters corresponding to different cosmological epochs, this is the modern day genesis narrative told by master storyteller. It's a scientific story of the origin and evolution of the universe. It has like some Greek like philosophy in here and things and it basically studies beliefs of how the universe began throughout all of human history and kind of uses those and science to discuss how the universe might have been created um so yeah i find that really interesting especially the mention of the greeks because i love the greeks and i'm just interested to see like how all these different thoughts humans have had over our entire existence all kind of converge into this book and yeah i just kind of like stuff like this i don't know why i just find it very interesting and it's a book that i think again will get me out my comfort zone so i am definitely looking forward to reading this one then next we have in order to live by yomi park and this one is one that is quite a popular book i've saw it a lot on booktube and i am really really interested to read this this is a biography i believe and in this we basically follow a young north korean girl's journey to freedom basically i believe she fled north korea and it's about her trying to flee north korea and obviously risking her life and how her life changed and all the things she's done since and just basically about like her life in north korea and yeah i'm just really really looking forward to reading this one because this woman is so strong and powerful and has been through so much I feel like this book will educate me a lot and I just think it's going to be very harrowing but very interesting and I'm just looking forward to reading this because this has been recommended to me quite a lot and I don't usually read biography so I will be like really really interested to see how much I enjoy this and yeah I'm just looking forward to reading this and yeah I think this is just going to be something that will kind of stick with me forever so I, I am looking forward to reading this one. Then next we have a really random one which is Richard Dawkins The Magic of Reality, How We Know What's Really True. Um, so this one i picked up very very randomly i've never read any richard dawkins before it's just because of the synopsis the ancient egyptians were mentioned and i was like yes i need this book so it says in the back magic takes many forms ancient egyptians explained the night by suggesting that the goddess not swallowed the sun the vikings believed a rainbow was the god's bridge to earth these are magical extraordinary tales but there is another kind of magic and it lies within the exhilaration of discovering the real answers to these questions is it the magic of reality or science so yeah this is like says that it's packed with explanations of space time and evolution laced with humor and clever thought experiments and um, explores a stunningly wide range of natural phenomena and yeah it just sounds really really interesting and again it's that kind of like origins kind of story and i just find it very fascinating and i've never read any richard dawkins i don't really know much about the author i just saw this in the bookstore and i thought it sounded really interesting because to me it sounded sort of like exploring kind of the myths around creation and magic and kind of then going into what reality and the myths kind of have in common and that's the main reason that i bought this so i'm really looking forward to reading it then next we have this self-help book so i definitely want to read more self-help i 
don't really own a lot of self-help books and I just feel like I'm at a point in my life now where I just want to improve my life. I want to just be the best I can be and enjoy things and get the most out of life and me personally I have my struggles, I have my issues and books have always been a way for me to kind of escape reality in life and I just think maybe self-help books will help me to not want to do that like not make me not want to read but I mean like they will help me to kind of deal with real life and change how I view things and feel about things and yeah I just really want to explore self-help and see if it can benefit me in my life so I didn't really know what to go for I had no idea and no recommendations really for self-help books I got recommended a couple but I was like I'm not too sure if this is like the right book for me so I just had a little browse and I came across this one I don't know if this is going to be good I don't know if I'll just be like what on earth is this what a load of rubbish or if this is going to be life changing for me I don't know I feel like self-help books a lot of the time it depends on you as a person but yeah I picked this up anyways and I'm interested to see like how I will find this and if it will have any effect on me um, but this is The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein, 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 I don't know I've never heard of this person or this book I just saw it and read the synopsis and I thought it sounded interesting um, so I got it. I think this person is a spiritualist or life coach or something like that so it says her stories and universal lessons provide a framework for releasing the blocks to what everyone most longs for happiness security and clear direction these lessons can help us relinquish the need to control in order to relax into a sense of certainty and freedom to stop chasing life and just truly live apparently this is supposed to just make me see like how everything happens for a reason to trust in like the universe and myself and to just kind of change how I think and feel about things so I will be really really intrigued to see if this has any effect on me or if I'm just like not buying into it I don't know like I said I've never really read self-help before so I'm really excited to kind of jump into the self-help genre and just see if I like any of it because it is an, it's definitely a genre that has taken off in recent years but I've just never really read much from it myself so yes I definitely want to go into that genre so if you have any self-help recommendations for like positivity changing your outlook on life to a really really positive one kind of self-love acceptance confidence all that kind of stuff then please do leave me some recommendations in the comments i would really really appreciate it if anyone could leave some self-help recs but yes this is the one that i picked up and hopefully it changes my life but i doubt it <laughs> so that's the haul and now we have the books that i just really really want to read that i already have on my shelf again this is a mix of mythology witchy stuff science yeah so here we are the first book i have is venus and aphrodite history of the goddess by bethany hughes i bought this last year and i still haven't gotten to it on a voyage of discovery to unveil the truth behind venus hughes shows that this mythological figure is so much more than an embodiment of sex and romance this is the remarkable story of one of antiquity's most potent forces and the story of human desire and how desire transforms who we are and how we behave so yeah this just sounded really really interesting to me and i'm definitely looking forward to picking this up at some point and look how beautiful this cover is like absolutely beaut i love it yeah i definitely do want to pick this one up soon then this next one i did start briefly last year i started the audiobook i still have the audiobook downloaded so i definitely do think i will go back to it soon as i mentioned earlier i absolutely love anything to do with witchcraft i'm absolutely fascinated by it i'm not a practicing witch because i've never looked into it myself although i would be interested to looking into the practices of witchcraft i have actually recently bought the scott cunningham wiccan guide book because i just find anything like paganism wiccan druids all of it like i just find it all fascinating and how people practice them like i said before i'm quite interested in like belief systems and things like that yeah just witchcraft is something i've always been into like i said not as a practicing witch just the historical and kind of myth mythology aspects of it um so i bought this book last year and i just didn't finish it so i want to read this soon so this is the history of magic by chris gosden and this is from alchemy to witchcraft from the ice age to the present this book basically explores like how magic in its different forms so like a religion witchcraft mythology all these different things 
has existed throughout all of time and yeah i'm just really interested to read about like the witchcraft and alchemy parts i'm just really really looking forward to picking this back up again it has some really cool illustrations in here i think there's a bit of like anthropology in here and yeah i just think this will be so fun as someone who's really interested in witchcraft and alchemy and history so yeah i'm really looking forward to reading this one then this next one is actually a self-help book but i haven't read it i really really want to um so this is notes on a nervous planet by matt haig i've had this on my shelf for years and not picked up which is why i'm including this video because i really just want to get it read at this point a lot of people have said this is a very very good self-help book for people with anxiety and depression and those sorts of things and i feel like personally it might be of help to me because of those things I don't know a lot about it except for it's basically a book about mental health and i definitely do want to read this very soon because i've had it on my shelf for so long and yeah i want to read it <laughs> then next i have these two sciencey books and i just really want to read them because again i'm very interested in like beliefs and creation and all of that stuff and how the universe started and just space i love space so i might not understand it but i like reading about it and i just want to read both of these so the first one is fred hoyle's the intelligent universe a new view of creation and evolution so this is again a blend of science and beliefs religion all that stuff and just an interesting viewpoint on creation how the universe began and how the two can be potentially linked and yeah i just really want to read it because i think it will be really interesting i can't remember how i found this book i just remember reading an article once and this book was like talked about on that and i just thought it would be really really interesting to read it and see things from this person's perspective so yeah i don't know if this is in print anymore i got it on ebay like last year and i just haven't gotten around to reading it it has like lots of different like bits of info in it so yeah definitely do want to get to this one and then another one is a brief history of time by stephen hawking so yeah i have never read this and i know it's one of the most popular books in science basically um everyone knows who stephen hawking is and yeah i just really want to read this book i feel like it's gonna be absolutely fascinating and i'm really really excited to read it i've just always been intimidated by it because obviously it's going to be very science heavy and like i said earlier i'm not the most like scientific person and i would struggle to wrap my brain around a lot of this stuff but i still do want to read it i want to read this book because i feel like it's a very important book i definitely do plan to pick this up at some point but yes yeah, so those are all the non-fiction books that i've recently purchased and really really want to read totally out my comfort zone and i know that each of these books will take me a very long time to read like i'll probably read them over the space of a month or two because i just know it'll be a lot of information to take in but i'm still really really excited for all of them and i feel a lot more excited now that i know i have blinkers where i can kind of get a summary first see if i definitely want to read it and then also have a bit of a basic understanding of the book before i go into it so i feel like with non-fiction that's something for me personally it's going to be really really important so yeah if you are interested in a blinkist then make sure to click the link in the description box where you can get your seven day free trial and 25 percent off a premium membership so yes thank you so much to blinkist for sponsoring this video and for just creating such a wonderful app I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please do give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments of what your favourite non-fiction books are and what you would recommend. I am still really exploring this genre and I definitely do want to read more and pick up more in the future so any books that you guys have that you could recommend to me I would really appreciate because I feel like there's not that many kind of non-fiction booktubers on booktube so I struggled to find some so yeah I would definitely appreciate any non-fiction books you could recommend to me especially if they're self-help witchy mythology kind of vibes to them yes please but yes i hope that you did enjoy this i will link everything in the description box so all of these books and my link for blinkist as well as all my social media and my patreon where you can get extra content from me such as reading vlogs buddy reads behind the scenes stuff photos life updates live shows all of that good stuff is all on my patreon and yeah i hope that you're all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next video bye